Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Mod Your Vape. Today we are going to be doing a quick review on the AR mod from Angel Sigs. They sent this over to me to review. And it's going to be a quick review. It's a three piece mod, top, bottom, and uh, the middle tube. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this camera down and get into this review. Alright, so got the camera down and got this focused. Focus is jumping in and out here. Light shining through my window. Um, as you can see there, you have the etched serial number, AR247. Um, you have one, two, three, four, five, six vent holes along the side on each side of the mod. The authentic AR has five holes. That's how you can tell a clone between a authentic, one of the ways. Um, go ahead and take this firing pin off, firing button. As you can see here, you have a solid copper contact. This is a magnetized button. No uh, springs in here. I've taken it apart. There is no locking ring on here, as it is a flush firing button. You can set it down on the table, and the pin is not going to make contact with the battery. Go ahead and screw that back on. Take this 510 connection off. Now, as you can see there, they have the nice etching. It's supposed to look like um, crosshairs, I think, in a scope you have a copper contact for the positive one thing that I do not like about this AR clone is you have an adjustable a adjustable um, screw here to get rid of your battery rattle but the center pin here is not floating therefore that jumped out of focus. But um, therefore, certain addies, when they connect, there'll be a gap in between. Like I can't use my volt meter here to uh, test volt drop on this due to it doesn't make contact with the center pin there. Um, then you just have the... Oop, then you have the tube here nice machined fat threads there as the camera jumps in and out very lightweight go ahead and put this back together slap a battery in here and a atomizer if I have one Get an atomizer real quick. All right, got a uh, stellar clone here. There is also a gap on this due to the non-floating pin. As you can see, the gap in between the stellar and the base of the mod. It is tightened all the way down cool thing you can see the battery through the holes I have some batteries that I've rewrapped with uh, battery wraps from another website that are yellow they look pretty good in here but I'm um, go ahead and juice this thing up give it a quick vape like I said this is not gonna be a long review it's just a mod as always boosted Move this camera up as I drop it. One 
some more vape here. All right, so now we're back up top here. Um, I am kind of disappointed that I uh, can't connect my volt meter here. I'd like to see the volt drop on this thing. Um, a lot of the clones I get from Angel Sigs, the volt drop, it, it's not too bad. It's, you know, 0 0.5, um, 0.6. For a clone, you know, I don't, I don't consider that too bad. If that was an authentic uh, AR drop in 0.5, then, you know, I'd be worried. But, um, yeah, the AR clone, I mean, I'm happy with it. I like it. It feels good in the hand. I like that it's got the flat surfaces along with the round so that you kind of have a grip in your hand. I um, want to thank Angel Sigs for sending this out. And uh, stay tuned for more reviews.